tutorial of the GPS system built into the excavator. Fit the simulator safety items, belt and safety lever if your simulator is fitted with them. The built-in GPS allows setting a reference to work with. This tool replaces the field operator indicating the depth to the excavator operator. The excavator operator can then work autonomously. Now let's see how to use it. On the GPS interface touchscreen, you can see each of the elements passing one after the other. The first action required is to set a reference. The reference is set on the level of the bucket teeth. The bucket must be positioned at a reference point during the exercises. For this exercise the position of our reference is not important. To set the reference, press this button on the touch screen. Your turn. Set the reference with the button on the touch screen. Now the reference is set, let's adjust the depth required. To do this, use these buttons. Your turn. Set the depth to minus 0.50 meters. There we are. The reference is located 50 centimeters below the point it was set initially. The reference slope can also be changed, using these buttons. Set the slope to 3 degrees. Good. The reference is now set as required. The GPS integrates several items of data. Once the reference is set, several items of data appear on the GPS. First, a depth gauge on the left. This gauge moves according to the bucket's position with respect to the reference. The bucket is currently above the reference, hence the gauge is in the red. You can also see three numeric indications at the bottom of the screen. Each of these items of data corresponds to the distance between one of the points of the bucket and the reference, left tooth, center tooth and right tooth. Your turn. Move the arm up and down to see this data changing. Very good. A buzzer beeps when you reach your reference level. Finally, two views are shown at the middle of the screen. The left is a profile view of the excavator. Whereas the right hand one is a view from the cab. This second one can be swapped with a 3D view thanks to this button. Your turn, switch to the 3D view. You can move the different boom elements to see the behavior of the views. Press the validate button on the touch screen to move on. Very good. You have seen all the features of the excavator's GPS system.